You're with us at After the Wheelhouse. I'm Jeff Peck over there. Mike it's, like, uh, it's like uh, the Joe the Joe Buck after life. It's, it's like whatever. overtime, it's kind of. <laughs> and over here, Chris Coss. The sweet nasty. His Facebook picture. The big sweet nasty bigness. Oh, is it my, my Facebook picture? The sweet. Oh, yeah, we got your Facebook photo. That, that's, that's, that's the one that gets everywhere. It's the, it's the love. That's it's, the one that gets love. You look handsome, dude. You do. Well, you know, that's my headshot. So, mm. good to know. Mm. There's a reason. Uh, it took me a long time. I mean, I've had pictures that really look like me, but yeah. one of my big problems in my acting career was people would bring me in for parts where the, the person's like 45, and then I'd get there and they go, wow, you really look like your picture. And I'm oh. supposed to go, thank you? I mean, oh. they expected that I apparently airbrushed the shit out of it so they could look like that. Mm. So I actually was like 45, 50. I paid a fortune back. to look like that in my headshots. Thank you for recognizing that. I appreciate it. Hey, uh, let me ask you this, speaking of uh, 45-year-old man. Yes. How how old do you think the kid from Chicago who called in tonight was? Nine? We are uh, big. I did some research. I'm pretty sure that we are big in the 12 to 15 demographic. Well, that way, uh, it's a big, high-spending, candy, uh, baseball cards, bubblegum demographic. Uh, it really, it's great. I, really all I'm thinking is perhaps, perhaps MTV will be more likely to pick us up then. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I think <laughs> you, you have less cocksucker jokes and more poop jokes, though. Okay, poop jokes. Got gotcha. you. We'll to, you know what? There's my whole. There's that whole idea again of now cleaning up the language a little bit, making you a little bit more family friendly, perhaps than we would really be able to market. I'm hoping that. Disney Radio picks us up. Hey, so it could be Hannah Montana Triple Shot Weekend. Yes. And then right into us. I'm already in the computer. There you go. You're already in. <laughs> I'm already in the computer. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, so let's. For those of you who are now watching this, the after hours, sudden death over time. I think we should call it sudden death. Sudden death. <laughs> the, um, the wheelhouse colon sudden death. You are now a part of our programming meeting. Welcome. <laughs> this the, the, were we talking about peeling back the curtain? Yeah, this is it right here. This we have peeled it. it back. Just so we this get a cheap here? plug. Because yeah. I don't know if many people know about this yet. Go ahead. Yeah, Honey Boo. Can I hold it for you? That is you amazing. Right in that? that is awesome beer. Honey Boo. You zooming in? Uh, Here, zoom zoom, zoom right in. Right oh. there. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. I hate yeah. when you do that. Um, it's great beer. I highly recommend it. Uh, we were I having girls too, but I highly recommend the uh, the honeymoon beer. So tomorrow we've got three songs. I, I sent Kaz a, a couple of different things that I thought might be good possible topics, and I don't know if that's been trumped by anything thus far, uh, because I think, I think the to, to use one of our terms, I think the Artie Lang thing is fucked out. So... <laughs> it is, it is, besides, what are we going to do with the three songs? Right. I mean, it's, where where do three songs go then, now? Well, if you were thinking, just to think out loud, if you were thinking about uh, you're the HBO executives, you have to program the next upcoming Joe Buck live show, do you give Artie a call? Do you book him? Do you call his agent? Do you call the Howard Stern show? Uh, First. So what song? You should have Robin on next time. There you go. Uh, so... <laughs> So now, uh, with that being said, we have three songs to call. I sent you, I believe, uh, from the the first one was the story about the uh, the golfers and the drug deal. I like that. I like that. I wasn't uh, quite sure where three songs were going to fit. Before in, we end, the, I know we always get around to. Before we end this, I have to get a picture of the uh, vacuum for everybody. Please do. Uh, as it gets louder, I'll be sure to open the door. So here we go. Yeah. You know, maybe let's open the door anyways. Yeah. So somebody knows what we were dealing. Oh, you can hear it. In the last remaining days of. That down the hall. It's actually down the hall by the bathroom right now. Maybe I could interview them mm. for the show. Uh, so there was uh, the the golf, the, basically the caddies or the, the people who worked at the golf course dr dealing drugs. Um, then there was actually, I think I threw the Letterman one in there, the Letterman idiots you protesting did. Letterman, which I thought would be a fun one to do. Um, and then I can't remember, I think there was a third one I sent as well. There was a third one about the, uh, the security guard who was pimping out his wife. Oh, oh love that. List. Love that on Craigslist. So, I feel like that I was one... I think, is that the worst three songs? When Your Wife Is is Meeting a John... Uh, th I'm trying to think of where... It, there's where so many ways you can go. You could, it could be any combination of... If you just threw it out there for pimping your wife out, uh, you could have, you know, what are the three songs uh, as your wife is getting... As you're dropping your wife off uh, to the trick. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it could be um, uh, what happens afterwards... It could be, you know, uh, what, what while you're waiting, while she's in there. Um, any number of things along those lines. You know, where you're trying to market yourself, aside from Craigslist. So, 
all of that stuff I thought would, would work for it. I kind of like the drug dealing, because uh, uh, oddly enough, they're all Hispanic, at the golf course. Um, <laughs> Boy, it's always going to come back to our own two uh, racial stereotypes here on uh, the wheelhouse colon. No, stuff. it never does, cause I don't know what you're talking about. That is so not true. So, uh, the worst three songs Sammy Sosa could hear while he's reading the article that he was named in the 2003 steroid list? Or while he's waiting to, uh, to come back in to um, meet the people that he lied in front of? He yeah, perjured I, I himself in front of? Remember, remember when he was going to schedule a press conference, like, this week, next week, to announce his official retirement? Right. And how he was trying to push for the hall and blah, blah, blah? Right. Yeah. You think that press conference is going to get pulled back? Mm, maybe. Um, so, did, did, do you have any other thoughts besides those ones for, for three songs that you guys feel may have trumped? Uh, How about the together? worst three songs that that Blue Jay fan that wanted to call me an idiot on my preview <laughs> uh, could be listening to as Roy Halladay was placed on the DL today? <laughs> uh, thank God you don't hold a grudge. <laughs> that would suck. Never mind grudge. This is about being right, baby. Right. Um, so I don't know. Those, those, those are the those are the thoughts that I have. I hadn't seen anything else in particular. Although there is a part of me that really enjoys the Heidi Montauk Born Again Christian going to pose for Playboy, and you can pick songs that are playing while she's posing for Playboy. Because uh, there's a lot of uh, possibly find a story that was more fucked out. I believe, by the way, I that I want to just say this right now. I believe Jeff Peck is shooting my crotch. Near as I can tell, he, my crotch is in his. <laughs> It's all about it's like it's it, out? as That's if my awesome. as, as if my balls my balls were solely the ones talking. It's crotch cam. It's a big crotch cam right underneath it. Fuck it, we gotta do time. That in with Aaron Andrews' ass cam that they had during the college world. <laughs> what is that? Holy crap! <laughs> Who is that? Ben Savage. Oh my god! The next Chris Cause, Ben Savage. Um, Not to find Anthony Clark. So. Uh, the story itself, it, it, the actors themselves, the actors themselves uh, are totally fucked out, 110%. But the fact that they're born again Christians and she's doing the Playboy thing, you could take it from the angle of like, the song she doesn't want to hear while she's at the shoot. That would be funny. You could have, because at that point we could bring cos gospel music. Okay, I'm moving over here. We could give gospel. Jetpack is really bad at holding the camera. He's doing so many different things. Uh, we could. Should we be, uh, do we need to like hold audition? He could totally do ones on her at the photo shoot, and then from there, just hold it still. Just hold it still. Oh, sorry, sorry. So it could be at the photo shoot. It could be after the photo shoot. It could be you know she's picking up the lingerie for the photo shoot. It could be while she's at the Playboy Mansion. Anything along those lines I thought would be kind of fun because it could be you could pull any kind of gospel music, Christian music, whatever you wanted to. It'd be just excellent for it. <laughs> yeah. Your thoughts. Those are all. The, those are all decent possibilities. Where? What's? Uh, what is your? What is your instinct say, Cos? Mister Keith David Ortiz on board. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. I uh, the 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 pimping your wife out on uh, on Craigslist because you're a little down on your luck is. It sounds like it's it's like a B movie. Doesn't mm -hmm. it sound like it's a Cinemax movie? Yeah, I believe that. Uh, Doesn't it sound like it is actually the plot of a Cinemax movie, and then somebody something goes horribly, horribly wrong. For some reason, I'm seeing Steve. I'm seeing Steve Carell in the lead. Yes. <laughs> oh, you want a humorous take on that? Do you? Yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah, I'm well, thinking. I meant, I meant the full, you know, Cinemax. Oh, you're going that way with it. No, no, no. I was no, definitely no, thinking this was a. Uh, I thought I was thinking this was an app tower release. No. Mm, okay. Then, then, you know, there'd be cool. a wacky neighbor. Except for be, yeah. He'd, he'd be the best friend encouraging him to do it. Oh, sure. Dude, I you totally know what it is though, but it's it's really it's just a remake of uh it's a, it's a remake of um of the 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 Henry Winkler uh Michael Keaton night shift is really what it is. Uh, wow. But that's Jesus a geezer that. alert. Can we geezer alert? Yeah, yeah I'm trying right now. Here we go. Geezer alert the video. Just so everybody at home, so they know, ready? You, know you should do, okay, wait, this is what it looks like. Here it is. This is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. Ready, right, there. 